Welcome. Okay, so I have a draw set. Mm. And one of the basic exercises mm -hmm. is just eye gazing. In other words, you're looking into the person's eyes. As we all know or we've been told, the eyes are the keys to the soul. And so as you gaze into your partner's eyes, you feel a connection that exists or that should exist. If it doesn't, eventually, with time, this connection will exist. Now, as you gaze into the person's eyes, usually you may start to laugh, the person's face may change, you may even feel like actually touching them. But take the time, relax, and synchronize your breath with your partner and just observe them. Enjoy the fact that you are blessed enough to look at somebody who is a divine creation of God. So this is one of the primary positions that you could engage in. And I usually prescribe that you either engage in this position from anywhere from 5 minutes to 15 minutes. Now, at the beginning, you may find it difficult staring into another human's eyes for even an hour, even a minute, because most people are not comfortable with looking at other people in the eye. But this builds that bond that is necessary in most relationships. Okay, no. so there's an eye staring thing that would go on for five minutes. After well, I'm staring into your eyes, I have to. She has beautiful eyes. Yes, she I'll does. be mesmerized by her eyes. Exactly. Okay, so after the staring. Now after the staring, we can move closer. And you can place your hand, your right hand on the person's chest. And then put your hands together in this way. Now this also builds that connection that I was talking about. Due to the fact that you can sense the person's heartbeat. Mm -hmm. Also, you can see if the person is breathing, relaxing. You may also tune into the person's energy. In other words, you may feel whether the person is anxious, whether the person is agitated, whether the person is excited. Whether, exactly. I am. <laughs> well, that is the whole essence of this. Okay. To build up that connection and that excitement because hardly do you ever sit with another human being and place your hand on their heart hmm. to hear what is going on, to feel what they are feeling. So, the next position... Okay, so this will go on for about five minutes. As I indicated, five to fifteen five minutes. Five to fifteen minutes. Or even longer. Hmm. Now, the next position that we're going to do usually can last and may even end the session. <laughs> You're going to place your right hand on the back and then your left hand at the lower back. Then you may sit like this. <laughs> now apart from just sitting like this and therefore feeling what is going on within your partner, you may also put your heads together. <laughs> And as I indicated, this may lead to the end of your session. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So is it, that's the tantric massage, or that's no, one that's, aspect of the tantric massage? That's the beginning of the massage. Hmm. So those are three postures that hmm. you can engage in, which anybody can do, and hmm. can quickly elevate the connection that you have with your partner. Hmm. Okay. Um, I, I would... We, there, there are other you know um positions that, that you'll be I'm teaching about us to show, yes. okay sure okay should um, i continue uh, with them or uh, yeah go 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 ahead okay so you can either start with the person laying Okay, just for the record, I must say that this is a learning process. This is serious business that we're doing here. And um, it's supposed to spice up relationships, you know. Uh, many couples should, you know, pay more attention to this, especially married couples, if not exclusively married couples. And uh, we should use this to learn. I'm learning a lot, and I'm enjoying this as well. Okay, go on. Now, you may either begin with the person laying on their back, hmm. or they could be laying on their stomach. It all depends on what happened during their day. For example, if your partner works on their feet, mm -hmm. then it would be best to start on their feet. But if your partner is somebody who works on a computer and mm -hmm. therefore her, his or her shoulders are always aching, mm -hmm. then you would rather work starting from the okay. back and the shoulders. Okay. Do you usually use oil during this massage or is that exclusively? That is the wonderful 
part of this. You mm. don't have to use oils. Oh, wow. But you could use oils and even usually with couples, mm. they have their clothes off. But not everybody is comfortable in that situation. No, no. So... Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, usually with couples, they have their clothes off. Yes. And the key word here is couples. Couples. Yes, couples. Yeah. Couples. Mm. So, you could do it with your clothes off. Here mm. we're doing it with our clothes on. Yeah, definitely. Now, we begin with the feet. Mm. Just by placing your hands on the feet, mm -hmm. indicates to her that something is about to happen. <laughs> you know, and therefore it gets her body and her mind in tune with what the process is going to occur. Okay. Now all of us walk with our feet and therefore there is a certain amount of action that happens in our hips and in our lower back. <laughs> okay. Therefore, by grabbing the feet mm -hmm. and then leaning back, okay. she gets a stretch in mm -hmm. her back which alleviates any pressure and any pain that may occur. Mm. And most people suffer th from lower back pain. Mm. Now, after doing this, you may spread her legs open. Water, more water. <laughs> now, just this simple process of arcing her legs out and opening her legs can be very... And you say couples can do this naked? Yes. Can be very enlivening mm. and also awakening mm. for both you and your partner. Now, when you place your hands on her heels, mm -hmm. or on your partner's heels, mm -hmm. it allows them to ground. In mm. other words, it allows their mind to come to where your hands are. Mm. So that when your hands do move, she can sense it. So, for <laughs> example, as I move in between her legs, <laughs> and I place my hands here, I can feel the warmth of her skin, mm. and then also she can sense my position. Mm -hmm. So from here, I may choose to slowly move up her thighs, heading towards her genital region. Now, this process... That region? Th yes, her genital region. Okay. Now, this process definitely brings her attention and her mind to what I'm doing. Even my mind. Exactly, mm. and it should. Now also, you, apart from actually using compressions, mm -hmm. you may decide to squeeze. Mm -hmm. Also, you may decide to stroke downwards <laughs> or stroke upwards, mm. you see? And all these actions lead to awakening the energies within her, especially down in her root chakra region. Mm. So apart from this, you can also place her leg on your thighs mm -hmm. and rock it back and forth. Mm. Now this opens up the hips. Most people are tight within the hips due mm -hmm. to the lack of stretching and various... Most, most people are tight within the hips. Yes, most people are tight within the hips. Mm. And so by rocking the leg back and forth, mm -hmm. you're increasing mobility within the hips. Mm. Now we can increase the mobility further by actually rotating <laughs> the leg. <laughs> As you can see. I, I dry, how, how does it feel? Are you okay? Give, give me a thumbs up if it's, if it's feeling wonderful. Okay. Now you can put her in tree pose. As you can see, this opens her up even more. I can see. Yes. I now, see. with this posture, you can mm -hmm. apply pressure mm -hmm. in the inner thigh, uh -huh. as I indicated. Yeah. You can also apply pressure here. You do not want to apply pressure at the same time on both thighs, due to the fact that not everybody's hips open as wide as a jaws. Okay. And it's possible that somebody may even have their leg here, mm. instead of falling all the okay. way down. Her so you rather be hurting the person exactly. if you push. Okay. So you don't push too much. But eventually, with more practice, mm -hmm. they all be as flexible of, as a jaw. Okay. okay. Of course, there's a need for flexibility. Oh, there's a huge need for flexibility because unless you are doing other positions apart from missionary, <laughs> you will need that flexibility yeah. within the hips. Okay. 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 So let's let's try to summarize this particular massage. Okay. So so far, 
what we've done is we've shown different positions which mm -hmm. enhances the connection and mm. also the intimacy between you and your partner. Okay. Now, this can, I advise that you should practice this on a weekly basis. On a weekly basis. Why? Because most people don't exercise. And this is a form of exercise. This is an ability to explore your creativity with your partner mm. and also enhance your own flexibility. Amazing. Amazing. And I just have to keep clapping on, on this. And I have learned. I have, um, I'm taking a recording for, for this particular one. You can have your seat now. Adwa, thank you so much. And um, you, you said it, it takes a while for people to become more flexible. Adwa, apparently, uh, obviously, you have been doing this for a while. So <laughs> you seem very flexible. Thank you so much, Adwa. Now, um, uh, let's just wrap up. So essentially, this would build the relationship closer between, uh, you know, couples. Exactly. Because Amazing. most people don't mm -hmm. communicate. And this is one amazing way to communicate with your so partner. So anyone can do this? Anyone can do this. Okay. Yeah. And, and the, 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 the size of your partner matter? It depends on the positions. Because if I had gone into other positions, which mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure in subsequent, you know, I'm... I'm very certain that there will be millions of messages on our Facebook page, you know, calling for you to come back for this particular, for a continuation of this particular thing. So um, I'll just take final comments at this time and, you know, something to, something to entice people more to, you know, try this or to at least to learn well, this. Well, they have to try this hmm. because there are lots of relationships which are breaking down because couples don't communicate. Hmm. They don't touch each other. They don't talk. They don't look into each other's eyes. Hmm. They don't give that love which emanates from you to another person what, just by looking at them, you know, mm. just by acknowledging their existence. Mm. And once that happens, it spices and increases the love that exists within the relationship. Okay. Thank you very much, Yao Tutu. Yao Tutu is from One Touch Thai Massage Center. And uh, Martina is still dancing in the background. She's so happy. And hopefully, Martina, we've taught you something. And everyone out there, we've taught you, you know, uh, Yao has taught us something that we can add to a relationship to spice it up.